Hey guys, this is Z with SenseMinds. Uh, if you don't already know, then uh, SenseMinds and Fans Minds and I am trying to do daily free contents on YouTube or whichever platform they're going to upload it on, on Magic. Mostly on slight, slight of hand stuff because we would suggest you guys to save your money and buy some more toilet papers because ass. Anyway, today I am going to share a subtlety that I learned from someone which who I cannot remember. I saw it in a convention from uh, 2018 FISM. Maybe it was Mickey Wong. Yeah, I think it's Mickey Wong or Harpan Wong. Just someone Asian. Anyway, I see quite a few Asian guys doing this, but I rarely see uh, non-Asian people doing this in in their Zero Shuffle. Uh, there's a great, great project on Zero Shuffle on. I can't name any websites, so on somewhere else, taught by someone who I can't remember. If you if you know that that thing I'm talking about, please comment below. Anyway, there are great tutorials on Zero Shuffle, but I want to share this this thing I use that I learned from someone else. Probably Miki Wong. Yeah, I think it's Miki Wong. So let's get down to it. So, so, disclaimer, I don't do any table work, but I have just played around with some of them, and this is one of them, Zero Shuffle. So I see a lot of people doing Zero Shuffle well. But I'm not that great, so I can't get that precise great moment of this making it beautiful. So I have decided to use what most Asian table workers use is while you're zero shuffling, they tend to push this card a little bit more, and then this left hand pocket packet goes back like this and then they push it in and as they push in they slightly go like this so in slow motion yeah from here something like this I think it's much easier and it's it's a really cute thing to do so I always use it because I am not a serious table worker and I doubt most of you watching this are. So when we are just trying to do a false shuffle that gets this packet into here, I think this is enough unless you are trying to show it to casino people or someone like that. So if you don't already know the zero shuffle, the basic basic thing is let me turn around this packet so you can get a clear picture. You are shuffling the card for real. But when you are squaring up the deck, you're pushing all the cards under the top card. Uh, regardless how many cards, you're just pushing it under there. And then you can do uh, another shuffle. Natural break, natural break. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got the point. If you don't already know how to do a zero shuffle, so the basic premise is this. You are trying to shuffle these cards. I usually just take the slip cut the top card and actually shuffle it but when you're pushing it in you are pushing it in chup, 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 this way to do a false shuffle there's a great 
effect using the spell shuffle by Die Vernon, uh, which I will talk about later. But the Zero Shuffle is basically mm -hmm. basically that. And when you are trying to do it, it's best to keep this V as little as possible. But not this perfect square, just a little V like this something like this because when you are trying to if it, if the V is too big then this might not look good so if you want a great tutorial on zero shuffle I'll link it below if that's possible or you guys can comment on it but today the point is I am using my phone to film it and someone just called me so let's get back to it so, instead of trying to do a traditional, goddamn, traditional truffle, I mean, zero shuffle, Tradi instead of trying to do a, a traditional perfect zero shuffle, which I can't do, we can cheat a little like these Asian folks by doing it, everything exactly the same way as the zero shuffle original version, but push the card and Pull this left hand packet back and then choop. for layman, that's enough. Before we end, let me just show you a cool trick by Di Vernon. I am not going to teach it, but I think it's cool to show some cool magic with you guys. Uh, this is Spectator Pixel Card, 8 of Clubs, 8 of, eight of, eight of Diamonds. This is how I do it. And let's shuffle these cards in casino style. Like this. And we just push it back in. And if we have already put shuffled these cards face up and down, so some cards should be face up, some are face down and face up. Like this. And if we just cast shadow of a bubble tea on the card where's the where's the shadow cast the shadow boom triumph this is a triumph yep that's a triumph and if you are interested if you are interested let me get the camera up if you are interested i have a in the hand Zero shuffle in smooth Z that you can do without tables because I don't do table work. In the hand, zero shuffle. Let me show the whole routine. So, spectator takes a card, okay, and they say stop at wherever they want, or I just ignore them and just And I'm going to Pharaoh shuffle it, dang it, like this. Now these cards are face up, uh, face to face, some of them are face down like this. And if I just snap my finger, triumph, triumph happens. There are a bunch of other stuff in Smoothie that you might like. And there are some other stuff, something like this. Spectator takes a card. Nine of clubs. N oh, what the fuck was it? Nine of, nine of spades. And um, you can just... Shuffle it! Now, these cards are like... This up and down like this, and if you just snap your finger, triumph! Kind of stick. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, I'm sure there will be a discount on it. It was like 30 something dollar project. I'll try to make them to get it down to 10 bucks if that's possible. If not, it's 15, 
I'll try to get them to have a discount over there. So, that's all for today. See you next time.